All right, time for something a little different. It's uh, should be coming out on Veterans Day. So we are in Kuwait, and we're going to head up to right around Nazaria, if I can find it, and uh, see, see what everything looks like. So uh, we are in the Beechcraft Bonanza at Kuwait International right now. And we're going to go ahead and take off to the south, see if we can spot Arif John, and then uh, head up north, up MSR Tampa. So, been trying to get some races in, and just everything has gone to hell in every race that I do. So, just need something relaxing and different. So, we're going to do this. up get up to about 350 now 300 is going to be enough and we'll put the flaps up take the rpm down just a bit all right so kuwait city should be off over there over the left there is downtown, a bunch of massive buildings. Get up to about... Yeah, a little higher. So, all of this is autogen, except for the massive buildings right at downtown. And it has been... 17 years since I've been around here, so uh, there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of things that confuse me on where I'm at, but right now I think we're going over what was our main route out of camp. Although one time we did get lost and ended up in the middle of the cities over there. But I think it's right about at this point. You should come down a hill and then the humidity from the gulf just hits you and drains all the life out of you. Looking for the main highway... I think a lot of this is built up. Looks like they're planning for more expansion, but let's head over here. This kind of looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get this thing trimmed out. So right ahead is kind of, oops, it's a massive shot to the left there. Uh, this is kind of looking like what I'm looking for, but I'm not used to coming from International and it doesn't look like it, so I think we got to go even further south yet. This probably is going to be a pretty damn long flight. Um, I will try to mark some stuff so it's easier to get around if you're looking for just uh, points of interest. So we should have the port. I see a few piers out there. M many, many, many tanks. Although they've got them as buildings at the moment. Looks good enough, though. What we got for a wind? It's only a two mile an hour wind. I don't know why it's kicking me around so much. Two knot wind, sorry. Maybe. 
maybe that over there is it. So yeah, Kuwait is a tiny, tiny little country, because about the time we get down here is right around the southern border, and it does look like all of this is getting built up brand new. It looks like a lot of construction sites. Got a little horse track down there, although it might be a camel track. I know they've got camel racing on one of the sites that was off to the right near the airport. Down here, that's not what I'm looking for. Those are supposed to be tanks, but they got turned into square buildings. So, I am going to assume we are getting close to, yeah, here's all the ports, bunch of autogen buildings. This is starting to look a bit familiar. Who the hell knows what Autogen is going to do with the things. I think this right ahead might be Arab John. There's a lot of uh, buildings, like warehouse buildings. Let's hop outside for a second. Yeah, this... This looks like Arif John. Eh, maybe. This might be way past the part that I'm used to, and then, yeah, there should be some bunkers and towers. Over here, I think, that's what we're looking at. So I believe, yeah, I believe this is Arif John. Lots of old military vehicles parked everywhere. It's pretty much a scrapyard now, it looks like, of all the old ass equipment. These are all new. This used to be like massive tent cities out here. If I'm at the right spot. We're going to go check over here real quick. And they have a golf course over there. And Indianapolis, I guess. Who the hell knows what that is. Yeah, so pretty sure that was Arif John, or what used to be Arif John. Let's hop back inside before I crash this thing. A lot of little settlements along the road. Now we are going to head up towards Iraq the best that I can.
ahead and put autopilot on, make it a little bit easier. We want heading and altitude. We'll go, we're gonna go up 15. Heading and then vertical speed up. All right. So we'll just catch the highway as it crosses back in front of us. There's International. Can't even see downtown now anymore. And yeah, this should be good enough. Let's pop out lots of uh, random markings all the way through the desert. And it's going to get even more deserty as we get further in. But there's kind of a hill up, and then you head up towards the border which should be pretty easy to see from the sky. But again, it's uh, CF. Can zoom down. Do they have borders on here? All right, so thick line is the border. We've got quite a ways to go where I want to get going, but I think we're heading over in this direction, if I remember right. Let me go ahead and just get a map satellite map up to help me along here. So what we're heading to, what we want to head to right now is Safwan. It's a border city. Well, not city. It's a uh, little town on the border. Okay, and we're actually going to the very north point of Kuwait, so not to the side like I thought, so go up to Safwan and then we'll hit MSR Tampa from there and head up to Nazaria and supposedly I thought I seen something that Ur was uh, modeled in this, so we will see if it's there. There should be an airfield right at the base that we're headed to, just a little bit south west of Nazaria. And you know what? I didn't even check fuel for this, so I might have to uh, do a little bit of in-air fudging of the fuel. it automatically switches on uh, what tank it's pulling out of. Anyways, we'll worry about that when it happens. Pop back outside. Just some dirty, gross land. Who the hell knows what all this is. Got a little bit of a settlement over there. When we were here, there was just massive amounts of construction, like building entire cities over in this area. So, I don't know if you can see my mouse. Hopefully you can, because I'm pointing at things, but...
There is some racing tracks, like horse and camel. Airport is over there. There's downtown. And there's the highway. So we're headed on the right path. I don't know what the hell that is. That can't be horse. That's fucking huge. Alright, so if I remember correctly, around this curve and then somewhere like up here is where elevation goes up. And you kind of get away from the mugginess. Although even this far away from the gulf, it was uh, not too terrible. So yeah, buildings aren't rendering around the actual downtown area, but that's just packed with high-rises like that. I mean, that's where the entire population pretty much lives. Going over some plant or mansion or who the hell knows what. Oh no, there's... It's like an airplane down there. Where the hell are they taking off from? Another little track. Dirty, just white salt sand who knows the ground is many weird colors around here and this is kind of looking bunkerish well, maybe they put a new uh, base around here All right, so we're about to get back to the highway. This area directly in front of us was the whole new area they were building up many years ago. So we never actually did climb. Put it on increase and climb up to 15. So we are... Let me take a look at this again. Zoomed out. We want to... Make a right turn and head up that way. farm, the three farms in Kuwait. Such a whole different world.
damn, already 20 minutes into this. This is going to be a long, long, long video. Sorry. Alright, so this is that whole new area that I was talking about. Although, I'm wondering if we were actually on that road and this is a new road. Because I don't remember a little intersection like what's uh, coming up. No, we weren't ever that close to the coast, Gulf. So yeah, right around here is where you just gain like a hundred feet. Take a look at, do we have altitude? Nope. I was going to see if there was any indicator on how close we were to the ground, but... Let's go ahead and turn heading. About 345. Points us at the right direction to head up this road straight in front of us. worried about this fuel. Do not know how to operate anything in this plane. I'm sure I've looked at it a thousand times, but maybe it's... I'm hoping it's just automatic. Let's see if that gets it. Alright, so now I'm heading out into the desert, and you know what, that might have been a new road, because this looks like an elevation change here. Or, this whole area is just a new bit. Weird thing is, they had people in water trucks everywhere, watering all the trees and everything around all the roads. It's just uh, not something that you normally see. Got an airport over there. Oops, there we go. Pull out of the right for a bit. And get turned a little bit more here cheating with this uh, autopilot. Head straight north here. So these are the weirdest things. This country is massively rich. And then you have these, you know, you have this huge city and then all of these tiny little 
I mean, they're not even farms, because you can't, you know, there's nothing farmed out here. I don't know, it's just a very weird situation. Now there should be, if I remember correctly, a right around the border there should be like this pretty massive mansion looking thing. I'm not sure if it's a home or not, but let's see if it's even on satellite. Looks like there's actually quite a bit built up around here. There's like a guitar lake. Let's see if that's even in here. Still can see downtown, just barely. Go ahead and turn it so that we can get over this road. Now apparently they didn't believe in straight roads. I never realized how swervy this road is up here. I mean, you think It'd be pretty damn easy to build a straight road out here, but... It's a long ass ways to go. This could be like a two hour video. little mound and then a whole lot of nothing All right, so from here, you know, this might be the longest part of the trip, especially since we went down south there, because it might get up here. We'll see how far away that is. Actually, Kuwait 
is about the length of what it's going to take to get up to Nazaria. So, might not be terribly long. Still going to be a long trip, but not as bad as I thought. Just not a whole hell of a lot to see at the moment. Although we do start to have a little more build up here on the right. I'm going to go ahead and kind of ease off to the right just to see if we can see this, what looks like a bit of a rich area. Then we've also got a bit of, yeah, it's probably too far to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's too far away to see the gulf. Where I believe it is, what is the river? I've already forgotten what the river's name is. No guesses at what that is. Maybe just a little town, a little bit of a, maybe a military base. We've got things starting to split off here. Trying to catch where I'm at on this map. Might be a helipad over there. Not something that's really going to stand out like a runway. Yeah, I think that's what's over there. Yeah, it looks like they've built up a whole kind of a farming city up here or rebuilt not sure if this area was uh, messed up in the invasion in the 90s not sure if that's what these holes around here are or if it's just something else All right, getting closer and closer to the border. Put a house in the hole.
Let's hop back inside, turn ourselves a bit to the left here. map. So the border. So we've got a bit to go. And that might not have been the helipad. I might have been too far ahead of myself. Yeah, and this, I mean, we were doing this in shitty ass trucks that could hardly do 50 mile an hour. It took a long time, and in the summer it got hot. And there was just nothing you could do about it. pop the front window open enough that you're not getting pelted by dirt and sand and then water bottles in wet socks out the window to try to cool off the really shitty bottled water that we had like the worst thing about that bottled water was you would open it and all the chemicals in it because it was so hot would be at the top and the smell of it coming off of there was just oh it was so horrible little farming community this looks like autogen terrain maybe I don't know something weirds going on right around here or just, uh, nope, it's not. It's just different set of photography done right here. We'll be uh, heading back to the road, and then I believe that is Safwan right there and you can see the uh, mouth out into the gulf check our fuel situation at the moment. Alright, so getting close to the border there. Yeah, I feel like none of this was around many years ago. So this has just all been rebuilt back up. Alright, let's turn ourselves just to the north a bit. Now, the road we took... I believe was this here. Here's this is the thing that I was talking about. I'm pretty sure it's a mansion that we used to come across right at the end of the road, but there's a bunch of them now, so who knows. So checkpoint right here, the border you'll see coming across here. It's gonna be like multiple lines of wiring and berms. So yeah, big checkpoint. We never went through that. We took this back road initially. But it looks like the border has been opened up fairly well now. But yeah, here is the border. It's 
like that all the way down through these two. And then we came through the backside of Safwan. And like this place was just pitted out massively. Don't think there's a big building there. But yeah, then we'd hop up, make a left, and hop up onto MSR Tampa, which is going to be this left turn here. Yeah, multiple, like, hauling water through here. They were jumping on the trucks trying to take water off. Kids laying in the street to try to get you to slow down so that people could take water off. Because, I mean, this was a very poor area. And, you know what, having bottled water is massive. Now we are going to head left. And head up what we call the main supply route. Into a bunch of nothingness for a while. At least the terrain's kind of changing a bit. A little hill over there. Yeah, you, know, you couldn't see any of this shit down on the ground. You'd see these weird little, what used to look like settlements. But that's about it but it was a four lane highway going up and it was fairly decent road all the way through it wasn't gutted or broken or bombed out because the second war was really nothing for the first few months and then it started to go terrible and wrong in about 2004-2005 get worse all the way around for IEDs and other shit like that. Turned here a little bit more. Do a few shortcuts. And I'll follow this road exactly straight because it's going to wind around quite a bit. And then it's almost going to turn directly west. So, we've got uh, the next major city that we're going to come across is Basra. There's a little town outside of it. And uh, just follow this along. Main interstate and then like a little highway. So... Really not a whole lot different than uh, how the U.S. works. Just a lot more people living out in the middle of the desert. Though they did have some like watermelon farms and some other weird little farms around. That looks like an old base of some sort. Some weird stuff going on in the aerial photos up there. I think that's Basra. I'm probably saying that completely wrong.
All right, so then we got another highway crossing up here that's going to go to the left of the main interstate. And then we'll kind of follow it to the left. Just a different color, Nebraska. Bunch of fields. Just all gray and brown. So we probably have about Euphrates. That's the river's name that I was looking for. It's a little bit north of here. Probably got about 30 minutes to Cedar 2. That's right on MSR Tampa. Coming up on the roads that lead into Basra. And we're going to kind of start turning to the west here, and you can kind of see it on the map, head this direction. tanks out there. Bit of a roadside area. I'm not sure if it's just markets there. Not even sure how you'd get there. I don't see any roads leading into it. You just gotta make a hard right through the dirt. So now we got this little highway to the left and then the interstate to the right here. I don't remember this area here. But again, I might not have been able to see it. turned a little more to the left. Nearly heading 270. About 286. That'll work for me. Yeah, you can see a bit of water over there. Um, even sure what exactly that is. I think it's a bit of like swampier area that has been turned to water in game.
like this dirt around here is just like it's not even dirt it's not sand it's just like the finest dust you could ever imagine and then when it gets wet it sucks we've got some defensive positions here from the old war that's all I can think of that would be it's like you can pull a tank up into that just random guesses So we're going to continue to head this way, and let's see if I can figure out where I'm at. We'll have to start turning, once we get back around this bend, it's going to start turning a little more west, and then we're going to be nearly to Nazaria and the ancient city of Ur and the ziggurat of Ur. So there was a lot of this around the road where it was just mounds of dirt piled up and like half the time you couldn't even see past those so you had no idea what was anywhere out here. And then somewhere around here there was always explosives getting detonated. It's like more of those fortifications are right around here. I think that was from the initial desert storm, one of the first big battles they had once they got into the country. No idea what this is. See if I can get any information on it. It's called DS2, it's just an oil refinery. Bunch of smoke and fire. Looks like we got a little town coming up here. Almajal. The road's gonna kind of go up north. Then we're gonna start getting some canals and stuff that we'll be able to see. And that's gonna mean that we are getting close. Now, I never actually got into Nazaria. Pretty much the f farthest I went is Cedar and Talil. And it was just trips back and forth from there. Baghdad is still a massive way up. And the only time I was ever there was I landed there and then took off from there in a C-130, which was the scariest takeoff that I've ever been a passenger of as they pulled up out of international in Baghdad and went straight up in the air. Like, it was completely vertical. And you're strapped it to the side of the back cargo area. But yeah, 
nothing around here. Just a lot of... You see old, old markings of little uh, places. And like, little shit like that. You see that little building there? There's actually people there. Just random people living there. It makes no sense in my spoiled first world mind how someone could live like that. But they do. I don't know how the hell you survive, but they do. Got a bunch more of these markings here. Has to be some type of defense thing, right? I don't know what else it would be, unless... I, I mean, I could just be very stupid, but really it looks like something that you pull a vehicle in and pile some dirt up around you and say you're safe. We're going to shortcut it here. Um, there's not a whole lot going on. And then the highway, that's to our left, and the interstate, that's to our right, are going to swap sides. And then we'll pretty much be there. And we'll see if Ur is there. For some reason I thought they modeled it, but I have no idea where I saw that. But that'll be right next to uh, Talil. And then there is... Uh, bunch of stuff around this area, but it looks like the old base that I was at, Cedar 2, is pretty much empty now. And I'm pretty sure they handed it over to the stupid military contractors that get paid five times as much as someone in the army to do the same job but that's your government defense spending they won't they won't pay the soldiers but they'll they'll pay defense contractors billions of dollars to do the same job and get the same results but you can't get your buddy rich if you pay the soldiers just just my little opinion there sorry i don't normally get political but watching someone haul the same shit you are for 80,000 plus a year and have better protection and equipment it was a bit annoying alright so that interstate's there this is the highway still again you just get these weird little pockets here don't understand what, you know, how long have those been there? What were they for? I mean, this is ancient world. And there's jack shit around here. We can just head straight along this. This little line of whatever the hell it is. of maybe farmland down here. And I'm sure this soil, if they had some decent irrigation, like what they used to before the dams were blown up, would be 
fairly decent farmland, but yeah, it's just a world that's been screwed over a thousand times. So we're going to be switching to a different aerial photo soon. Wish I could work out a way to smooth those transitions. We're on an hour and a minute of this flight. Might need to switch fuel tanks. Let's go ahead and do that now. And we are getting closer to where we need to be. So right there where it crosses over, that's about there. So we're heading in the right direction. It's interesting to see everything that's around here. But I'm someone that's entertained by looking at Google Maps and seeing random stuff so this could be a very boring ass video if you're not like me now there should be i think once we get up near nazaria there should be another hill off to the left like i feel like there was a hill that i could see like, you look for all these points and stuff that you can know where you're at and know how far away you are from base. Now, one thing you could tell when you were closer, and it might be this canal that... I didn't know it was a canal over there. But there was a massive berm, and you knew you were getting closer, and I think that's actually a canal. I did not know that. Learning stuff. So once you saw that off to your right, you knew you were getting closer. And I'm guessing if we drop down, let's go ahead and drop down to uh, ground level. Let's get down here on the interstate. Yes, and that berm's gonna start looking like a berm. So, yeah. Extremely flat land around here, but let's see if I can autopilot it to 200 feet. Oops, I don't want to go negative. I don't know if the autopilot's good enough to handle this. You got me? You gonna crash us? Vertical speed up. Speed up, up, up. Okay. Get up to 200. Yeah, it looks like... I mean, I'm not low enough, obviously, but it kind of, that's the berm that I was noticing. And then, uh, yeah, let's get ourselves turned.
yeah, so the road's got a few slight little hills, nothing major in it, but I think the berm that I was seeing is that canal. But yeah, we'll go back up because obviously you can't see shit. go 1200 crank the speed back up so yeah once I started seeing the berm there it's trying to make a berm but this thing in water has a weird weird issue and trying to pick up a little man-made berm there's not gonna work too great I don't know what the hell's going on over here look like some weird stuff going on but it could just be darker area so we're gonna make it on fuel at least that's a positive a little worried about that. We are nearly there. See the uh, switch over. No, not yet. Where the hell are we? Okay, we're there. We're almost to the switch over. go ahead and follow along here so yeah not gonna end up being too terrible long of a video it's uh fairly boring but something different and i figured it's a good time to give this a go So once the road starts turning north, that's going to head directly, almost directly into Nazaria. But then there's a little bend, and uh, we're going to follow that west, southwest of Nazaria over to Lille. And then hopefully the Ziggurat, if it's there, which I've actually stood on the top of. I mean, it was cool to see something that the moment not a whole lot of people alive have got to see. So, uh, get turned back. I think right about there is where. a little further. So yeah, no idea that there was like a swampy bit of lake right there. Because there was a berm and you couldn't see shit. And it's not like you get to go out and explore and never were uh, much higher than a few feet off the ground in the truck, so not going to be seeing any of that. So this is not the bend that we're looking for. I do not believe... Like I said, not a whole hell of a lot over here. Although now we're starting to get into the area where we did a bunch of patrols and stuff. 
So we there was some roads off of the highway that we did a lot of patrols along in our five ton trucks because again we were never given proper equipment to do any of the jobs that they told us to do. Our five ton trucks with plywood and sand as protection. So we were doing those in the middle of the night and uh, weirdest craziest story was we pulled up on this vehicle that was parked alongside the road and we just need to clear everyone out of the area because you don't want someone parked alongside the road next to uh, your base and so get out I'm up on the 50 cal in the back of the truck and so I've got things aimed on the car that stopped there and a couple of people that are with me get out walk up to the vehicle they knock on the window and then I just hear them start yelling don't don't move don't move and they've got their guns up and I'm sitting here going oh shit what the hell's about to happen and this guy reaches down in front of his passenger seat and then pulls up his fake leg and shows them because they wanted him to get out of the vehicle and he couldn't without his leg and so yeah that was one of those moments where shit could have went really 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 wrong had uh, anyone been really trigger happy there but luckily uh, we all had a nice little laugh and um, no one got dead All right, got to be coming up on the area that I'm looking for. It's going to turn up north as well as the canal. And then it should turn back left. And then we should be at Ur. And I'm sure it's all changed, but there should be a massive fueling stop coming up here. Now, it used to be on the side of the road, but um, I would assume they moved it to a bit of a safer area. Once again, you got those little U shapes here, and Talil is an old Air Force base. of Iraq. It's not a uh, American base. Well, it was taken over by us, but and then these I have no idea what these long ass lines. I don't know if it's power lines. I don't know what they are or how they got made. Maybe it's railroad. I don't know. It's strange. I don't remember any seeing any railroad anywhere. All right. Nearly there. We've got Let's try the spot. What the hell am I seeing? Did I somehow get off of... No, we're fine. So 
So we should be able to start spotting some of the roads that we used to patrol. Although they might be a little bit further up here. Something used to be here. No longer is. All the roads just disappeared off the map too. I don't know, maybe maybe they were restricted from showing some of the shit. No idea. I need to get back up to the road though. Otherwise I'm gonna get really fucking lost. Plus we are coming up on what should be Talil. There's the road. There's the bend in the road, I believe. And I bet ORTL means Toliel. Or something like that. Whatever it's actually called. towards the road and we should start unless the Rio is going to be up either there or there or all of there that berm gets really close again no clue that it was anything there and now we are into some ancient ancient worlds and you're going to start seeing uh, around, around Talil Air Force Base. It's uh, north of it. There's a bunch. I don't know if it'll have a good enough photography to show it, but there's a bunch of, like, old, 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 old settlements that you can walk through and see. All right, we're back onto the road. There's Talil. Let's just head towards there. We got there one hot day and they had just put in a Burger King and this was like after being over there for four, five months and I was like, oh, get some Burger King, you know, that'd be amazing on a hundred degree day. Worst decision I have ever made in my life. And it wasn't, it was just a Burger King trailer, and who the hell knows what it was actually, but hell, you don't even know what it is if you have Burger King in America, so. The thought was what counted, I was like, oh, a little bit of taste of home, and then realized it was greasy hell. But it was better than half the shit they fed us. Bunch of food that smelled like soap all the time. Alright, so Talil got two runways there, it looks like. We were stationed here for a bit until they built Cedar 2.
And this is where I get really confused because everything's at a different angle than what I ever had in my head. The ziggurat should be over there somewhere, so let's hop inside, take control, let's go see if they've got it. Looks like they might actually have it right there. It's not big, it's not an impressive thing, but it's still a massively ancient object. And the roads around here, I am sure I will have no fucking idea how to get anywhere and do anything. It was all dirt roads into here. We were just in a corner of a base. Most of the time, I just slept on whatever was in the back of my truck. One night, it was... Uh, bunch of tires but not going to put my cot down in the dust and try to sleep there but here we go, here is Ur stood on the top of that and then there's a bunch of little areas around here you can see kind of dug into the ground old ancient Places, but I essentially called this home for half a year. Oops, don't want to stall it out here after that long of a flight. Let's we'll see if we can find cedar. Try to remember what direction it was from here. It is up and left. But I don't think it's going to look like a whole lot of anything. So we got a little road here, and this was main road. Tons of people selling shit right here at this intersection. These little buildings are up here, I think. Maybe? I'm confused on where I'm at. There we go. So that looks like cedar. That's the main road. Something's the main road around here. I can't remember how it worked. Everything's so backwards from what I remember. <laughs> this might be the side. So there was some like blown out buildings around here that they used. That might be the main entrance into the base. Then this essentially just became a fuel hub for the uh, overpaid defense contractors. And the highway goes over that way. But there used to be a shit ton of tents all along here. And yeah, dusty, dirty, nasty place. Let's hop back in and go land, I guess. Yeah. Hard to see a whole lot. 
not great image and again it was 17 years ago billions of things have changed but we'd come out we'd patrol this area and then there was a little road off to this side that we used to patrol I don't know how far out it actually was might have been this road is there a road Yeah, that is a trip back through Kuwait and Iraq. Maybe that's the road. Everything looks the same damn color. All right, let's go try to land this thing. I've got a runway in sight. We're going to land with a tailwind, but don't care. A little bit low at the moment. It was cool. They used to have a bunch of warthogs based out of here. Those things were just loud, crazy buzzing everything. don't know what else they had based here. I don't think there was a whole lot else. I think they were only down to run one one runway here and just ran warthogs out of it. Never really seen anything else fly in or out. Definitely got enough runaway for this. Come in as hot as we want. Here it's down. We got one flap down. Go ahead and drop a bit of power. Another click of flaps. the flaps with a bit more throttle throw the RPM back up forgot about that didn't even mess with the mixture full flaps bring it on down like butter all right well I don't even know where I would taxi to so we're just gonna park it here and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little trip and yeah it's just something different figured today's the day to do it so yep thanks for watching